Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're working on Austin's Tacoma. We're putting a two inch lift on it, Bilstein 5100, front and rear shocks, I guess, front struts. We already got this side done here. And uh, he's just working on the other side, so we'll do a little bit of a, a run through on sort of how that's all done if anyone has come to this video to kind of see how it is done. So, uh, very, very easy install on his brand new ish, brand new ish 2022 TRD Sport. That's what the inside looks like. So he's got the the ART wheels on the bronze. Um, he's gonna be doing wheel spacers eventually to have a little bit more get a little bit more offset out of it, but definitely a clean a clean setup to start with. So he'll be doing a roof rack this coming week. But uh, let's hop over the other side here. So I think you're just working on getting the OEM strut out. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the bottom strut out. I'm just working on taking uh, those guys out right here. So he's already got them out, so. The struts are the 5100 Bilsteins, and then the new springs going in on the floor over there are the Old Man Emu 2887, and that's what gives the two inch lift. Because you can, uh, you can you reuse your old spring and then change this little disc here and then that's what can give you your your different uh, like level heights with your stock spring or you can put it in the zero position and then buy a spring that gives you the lift um, don't know which is what you did like yeah. what brand is this spring so this is OME old man emu okay and sorry you already like said that 2887 so you, this is where the two inch lift will be coming from, but you can use this same adjustable. So did this strut. did this snap ring already come here, or did you yeah. put that in? They come in in position zero, and then you can just use a small flathead screwdriver to just pull it out and flip it up to the next one as needed. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. So there is more room for adjustability. Like in the future, if I wanted to go higher than two inches, I can just lift that up a bit. Um, but obviously, you got to start playing around with your QCAs and all that fun stuff. For now, I'm just trying to keep it simple. So that's the way we're doing it. So then in the back, so I don't know, I'll give you a quick run through. So basically we start off by taking off, uh, let's see if I can get under here. There's two bolts that were here. So there's one on this side right here, each beside the castle uh, bolt. And there's one, you can see the, the hole on the other side there. So, and then he has already got his top hat bolts off. Um, but he's not reusing any of his OEM, nope. any of your own OEM. So what brand are your, actually I got the box over here for your top hats. Oh yeah, uh, I can't remember what those are. Those usually come in, if you buy a kit with Bilstein OEM, they'll come with that top hat set. So here's the top hats that he is using with his Bilstein struts. And uh, I think he's already got them mounted on the on the Bilstein here, so. And we're gonna reuse the stock nuts. Three, three yeah, stock so ones. they're gonna use, he's gonna reuse the stock, the stock nuts, just cause he didn't really like, um, it seemed thing. like the ones that came with it were more of a lower quality uh, of nuts, so. Yeah, so we're basically not reusing any of the OEM parts. Yeah. We're taking everything out, so other than. Those three are off, and then I've taken out the bottom strut bolt as well. And then we also marked the camber adjustments on the front and the rear. So those are marked uh, for the adjustment so we can take that in after. So you can see right there that he's got the Sharpie marked and then he's got it. Do you have it marked on the back side as well? No, uh, just the no. full rear and then the front front. So if you don't take the whole uh, take the whole bolt out, you only need to mark the one side. Yeah. So then he's also got He's got it marked right there too. So there's a little groove, I guess, in the frame itself. Yep. Turn the... Yeah, there's a groove in the frame that lines up with the notch marks already yeah. on the disc. 
Um, but we put our mark there to know where we were starting from. Then you can at least get home safely. Yeah, so you, you will be getting an alignment, um, like you just said. But Whenever they open, basically. We'll get it close enough so we can get her home. So he's already added these um, sort of black embezzled Tacoma emblems. And then he's got the TRD jackal up there. So then he will be doing the, he has, he's actually got an add leaf for this too. So it's not just rear shocks he's doing. Um, oh yeah, they're in the, the trunk. The box of the truck? Yeah. So we're not sure if we'll get to this today, but He's got these add leaves as well that he's gonna put on just to give the back extra height. Instead of giving uh, lift blocks, he's gonna go with the add leaves. I know it's not a Ford. I'm sure most of you guys that are here, more Ford fans, but nonetheless, it is a very nice truck and it should, should turn, turn into quite the build after he's done. He's going for more of an, uh, I guess more of a, like a outlander sort of look or yeah, whatever you kind of call it. He's gonna do a whole kind of roof rack with some LED light bars and then maybe in the future do something like a, he might do a cap on the box of his truck to do more of like a, maybe like a tent setup. He's not too sure yet. Yeah, um, we do the frame, the bed frame and then a tent on top. Depends what the wife wants. But he's got an Instagram page. I'll put it in the description. It's called It's Taco Time. I don't know if Austin plans on doing any sort of YouTube videos in the future uh, but probably not, probably not no probably keep it Instagram. It's, it's simple. Um, so if you guys are interested in following that I'll put the, the, the link in the description and then we got the focus here with lots of wind and then there's the there's the f-150 right there so So you ready to put the other strut in, basically? Pretty much. I'm just getting right. the top hat started. Okay, it's I'll get one. the I'll get the mount here, and then we'll sort of show how it's done. Even though we're kind of just winging it, even this is not a very hard task. But everything's everyone like every truck you work on, it's all kind of different. So same fundamentals, though. So. For the most part, yeah. Let's see how far here. That light's kind of in the way there, but that's all right. We can take it out. I don't. I don't think I need it. So I can do this all blind now. Get you a headlamp. <laughs> well, the the light's good because you can actually makes it better for the video. So I'll just be useful and I'll hold this light for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm the dad and you're the son. <laughs> <laughs> Grab me the pen and I'll get it. Lost it. It's in the engine bay. Okay, I'm gonna just set this tripod a little bit better here. There. Yeah, that last one is in such a bad spot. Pretty sure on my RAM, this was. The top hat was, it had the single guy out, so none of these were behind the frame. Like you can see where I was hitting the frame with right. the socket or with the ratchet before. But that should be it. Um, can I get you to swap? Can you put the yeah, absolutely. That, would actually work, that works better. So. Yeah, so this is a little bit better here. So Austin just got this. Actually, I'm gonna take. Uh, no, because we'll be lowering this sooner than later. So Actually, we're pretty much ready to go. Okay. Squeeze it in there. So what the idea is is we'll put the whole strut in, and then we'll use the jack to lift the lower control arm up until he gets the top hat bolt tightened up, yep. and then uh, and then go from there. Okay, 
set this plate here just to... Just put in the, the bolt in the bottom of the strut there. So we could, I think, yeah, that's what I did on the other side. We can just tighten that now, actually. Well, we need to, we still need to pivot it a little bit, right? Well, it'll still turn. Like, okay. Once that's tight, it'll still articulate. Right, right, because it's got that rubber bushing. I believe it was a 19 mil. And you know how nice it would be if I had someone filming for every time I'm working on my truck? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, so now we can actually jack this up. Okay. So, just gonna put this on the mount. Just gonna get ready to help him. Can I see that? There you go. So rather than use a spring compressor, we've been kind of doing like this, where we're just going to use the weight of the truck to kind of put everything together. Uh, one sec. One sec. Uh, now we need the weight. Now we need the weight. Mm, yeah, so, oh, actually, go back down. It's catching that rubber. Ah, uh, can you go lower? No, I think that's as low as she goes. That rubber came off again? Yeah. Pain in the ass. Um, well, I need to get away over here. I think we should be able to jack it up now. If you want to jack it, I'll guide it into the hole. <laughs> no pun at all in that. Yeah. See, this is weird. This side can see the whole way. I'm pretty sure last time we had to push it in. Okay, she looks like she's getting, oh, there, there we go. go. That's what she was definitely getting caught on something. That's what we're waiting for. Okay, okay. yeah, keep You're going. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Through already. So now we're basically just compressing the spring using the jack on the lower control arm. And then, rather than go through the, um, the dangers of a spring compressor, this is a little bit safer. But now we're starting to jack the truck a little bit, which is fine. Yeah. And here's the mounting hardware, so you got your wash and your bushing. And your nut, which just goes on the top hat. And then on the top, and then... It sure goes, uh, does it go bushing first, and then the washer on top squeeze it down? Yep. Yeah. And make sure the washer's angled and down. Yeah. It's got like a special... It's like a conical washer. Yeah. It has a bit of a concave face. And make a sandwich. Start putting the lower control arm ones again. So now we just gotta wait for Matt to bring the. Oh, we had to actually. I'll, I'll show. I'll show them this. <laughs> so we had. Um, Austin lost the key <laughs> for his. They're in here actually. Uh, there, Austin lost his key 
for this guy here, which is the fifth or the sixth lug nut, I guess. And that's your keyed lug nut. So what we had to do was, you see how there's like little grooves on the side there? We had to take one of, uh, actually, I don't know if it was this one actually. It's over here. So what we had to do is we had to take this thing and this is like counter threaded. So what it does is it's got a bunch of little spline, a little bit, basically it's a bunch of threads in it. And what you do is you put it on, you put it on there. And then when you go in revert, when you go in, uh, when you reverse this, right? Like lefty loosey to take it off, this will spin onto here and it'll grab it and rip it off. So this is basically a universal um, kind of key remover if you've lost your key, which he did. So I have Matt bringing us some new keys that will then now match whatever these ones are here. So that's obviously the, the missing bolt, right? Missing nut, I should say right there. Yeah. Um, Mag lock lug nuts. They're not conical or flat. They're not like a typical. They're not a typical type, so they're very special. Wait, does, does that have to do with your wheels, or is that all Tacomas? It's uh, it's just the well. I don't want to answer on the Tacoma side, but because because the studs are so small, and the and the the rim itself isn't concaved. It's it's actually flat. The hole is larger than the stud, so the mag goes into the space between the edge of the rim and the stud. Right. And it fills that hole, and that's what actually centers it. Because on a on a on a cone or an acorn one, that's how it centers. With yes. The, with the conical sheet. So this stuff's basically in. Now it's just a matter of tightening everything down. So it's up. it's really really easy to do, right? You basically just oh, yeah. take out like just to kind of go over. You basically. Loosen off that camera bolt, and then there's the one on the front there. That guy. And then you basically take off those bolts that he's tightening on now. There's two of them, one on each side of the castle. 118 foot pounds of torque. Nut. Yeah, that's the torque specs for them. And then once you get that off, you can basically just drop the whole control arm and then pull your OEM once you undo these, uh, this hardware here. You can pull the OEM strut out and put your new one in and then use the truck to compress your spring. And then you don't want to tighten your camera bolts um, until the truck is kind of back on the ground and there's weight on the spring and whatnot. Because if you tighten them now, you're going to basically preloading your whole setup before you even have the weight of the truck on it. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we got the front all, all dialed in for the most part. Wheels back on. Like I said, we got the we got the vehicle to normal ride height, and then we went ahead after the vehicle was no longer on the jack. We tightened those bolts right there, bolts and nut, I guess. Um, but then we did decide to work on the rear. We're not going to do the idle leaf today. We're just going to do the the rear shocks. So Austin's already worked on getting that wheel off. I'm going to do the next one here. And what I wanted to do was quickly kind of. I wanted to quickly show you guys um, how this kind of contraption worked. So like I said before, we, uh, we don't have that key there, so we'll have to use this. And then you put it on and the threads catch it and... Uh, so I will just kind of toss this on the mount here. Zoom. And we'll get it, uh, get it going here. It might get loud for a sec here. Just, you basically just put it on and then right off the bat you go in reverse. And it catches and it takes it, takes it right off. So, And then what I have to do to kind of get this out of here is I put it in the vise. And when you put it in the vise then you go righty tighty, like righty to loosen it off basically, right? So you go forward with it to get it off. So we'll take this over to the vise and uh, we'll get it set up there. I got it in the vise here, and then I'm gonna go clockwise to get it unthreaded. Just like that. Easy, you can still use the lock too. Yeah, and actually, surprisingly, like you're gonna want new ones, but it actually doesn't damage it that much. Like it scars it a bit, obviously, for obvious reasons. But uh, I mean, you might, you might compromise the integrity of the 
the lug nut a little bit, but if you're in a pinch, you might be able to make this work still, but I just recommend getting all new ones, so. And there it goes. So. so don't lose your key and you won't have to resort to that. But it is what it is for now and it actually worked out quite well, so. So we're gonna work on one side at a time and uh, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that, uh, it's such a, like, when I go, this is my normal one times optical, and that's my wide angle. It's pretty blurry, unfortunately, but we'll make do with this. Anyways. So the top is going to spin, so you got to hold it somehow. But the new one is just threaded. Right. So if it starts spinning, I honestly don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> We're gonna do our best. That's what. We're doing. Well, I see what you're saying. Cause you don't want to damage the top. Well, like when you're tightening it down, if it starts spinning, how do you stop it from tightening? Yeah. Besides yeah. fucking up the thread. Yeah. Okay, so how does this go? We've got metal washer, rubber washer, because it looks like we were given extra pieces. Yeah, because that just there's not even really a hat it sits in, so you can just pop out the whole bottom. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to, we can we could have worked on each side for ourselves, but you know what? This is better this way. Then we can. Maybe we can film it and you oh, can do all the work. Look sandwich. at that. Okay. So it does sandwich with a rubber. So it's literally just the bottom bolt and the top bolt there and the whole thing just pops out. And it's very similar on the floor. This is actually still, like I said, a lot easier. Um, yeah. So one of these has a lip and that lip. Oh, the old ones are different. Hmm. Do you use the new shit or do you use the old stuff? I would say supplied stuff. Especially yeah. if it's Bilstein, you know it's going to be decent. So this one looks like it goes on the bottom. It's nice that it comes with a nice black boot. Yeah. A lot of them don't. And we'll just get that started. Is it already got the zip tie on the bottom there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. That's nice. Whoa, hello. My guy. Mr. Camera Guy. Thank you. Yeah. I'd say I'm the helper, but you don't even need help on these. No, this is so Obviously easy, a one-man man show. As long as you can as long as you can <laughs> build the confidence up. <laughs> As long as you, you're strong enough to compress that spring. Should be able to. I'm a bit of a scientist myself. Strong <laughs> guy myself. There you go. Now, oh shit, I can't remember. Bolt head. I guess it doesn't honestly matter. Nut goes on the inside. I would do nut on the inside because it'll get less caked. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the thread seizing and stuff like that. Whatever would get yeah. less exposure basically. That's beautiful. That nice is and shiny. That is the easiest install. And it's nice because if these shocks ever blow out or you know how easy it is to just replace it. And when you do replace the rear shocks like this, you don't have to worry about getting an alignment. They're cheap too. This is uh, 180 bucks for two of these. Two of these, that's a really good deal. Yeah, nice and, and you can get these you can get these and the front ones on Amazon actually. Or the Toyota. Oh, they're full. <laughs> Almost oh. tripped over the tire there. Hear <laughs> me. No, 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 no. Full Amazon setup over here. No. Cool. Hang on, she let the dogs inside. These guys are ready. It's getting a little windy out, eh? Hey, puppies. You guys inside here? Oh, no, someone stole the truck. Just kidding, it should be right back. I think the old lady went to the store and said. Okay. I forgot what size that was. Is that a 14? 
Okay, one thing to add that we totally missed, us has been struggling for the last 10 minutes here is... Five minutes. <laughs> is that when he tried, he kind of said earlier that he was worried that the bolt was gonna spin because um, there was nowhere to grab onto. And sure enough, he was spinning. So he couldn't find a place to grab onto. Then we realized that there's a hole in the top for an Allen key. So you put the Allen key in the top and then, then you should if you get to go. You know, we are men, so we don't read instructions, but... They didn't come with instructions. When we need them, they're not fucking there. Yeah. So... But that should be it now. Anyways. Get that all tightened up, do the same the other side, and we'll show you guys what everything looks like after. Austin's just gushing over. <laughs> got all finished up. So we still got to do the add a leaf on the back. We'll save that for another day. Austin's got to get home and watch some F1. So, we're call her good there, but definitely a very easy install. Like if we were to actually give her start to finish, we could have had this all done in maybe three hours. So front and back, and then the add leaf, the add leaf would have probably taken another hour, maybe two. So he's got to go get it aligned on Monday, I guess. And then he's debating whether to get some wheel spacers to give it a little bit more stance. Other than that, looks pretty good. So like I said, I'll link the, his Instagram description in the description. If you guys want to follow this build. Uh, sorry for the wind noise, it's like hurricane weather out here right now. leave you guys with that and uh, stay tuned for the next one we'll be making some more content very shortly that is true yeah, yep that, so. that'll be it for that guys Austin we'll see you again in another video until the next one you guys <laughs>